Hi, I'm Bonnie Browning from the American Quilter Society, and today I'm here with Pat Holly. Pat is the winner of the Benertex Best Miniature Quilt here at the 2013 AQS Quilt Week. And Pat, let's talk a little bit about your quilt. First of all, what was the inspiration for this piece? Um, I am really inspired by textiles from India, so I like to look at old embroideries for ideas, for motifs, and this quilt in particular I wanted to have images of little tigers because I made it for my daughter, Alyssa, and she's always collected tigers. So I had to make a quilt for her since I made pink elephants for the other daughter. And so I understand you actually made two of these did. pieces, didn't you? That's why it's Tiny Tigers too. So I thought, well, since I want to have one for my daughter to have for her very own, and I might want one for myself, I said, I'm just going to make two at the same time. And it really takes twice as long, but you know, <laughs> you just do a little assembly line. Well, do you know, people always want to know how long did it take you to make this little, well, what is it, like 9 by 11 or something? Well, I think this one is 15 by 17. Oh, okay, so, so it's, it's a little bigger. It's a little bit bigger. Yes, but um, how long? It took me between six weeks and eight weeks. Okay, so and that's everything. I design, I do all the designing myself and drawing the little patterns. So. Okay, well, mm -hmm. so let's look at the quilt and let's just point out some of the details on mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. because, of course, you have all of these little tiny pieces, the tigers, the everything, yeah. and you use a little bit of fusible to do that. Tell there, us how. This, well, the, first of all, it's all silk fabric and all of, the, all of it is applique and it's a raw edge fusible technique that all of the edges are stitched with a little blanket stitch that I've adjusted the width and the length kind of to be in proportion to the scale of these little pieces. And so what is it? Maybe a 32nd of an inch or 16th? You know, it's I, not very wide. It's not very wide, but it's wide enough that it is actually on top of the edge of the fabric. And catching the edges yes. so they're all yes. secure. They're all stitched down. Okay, we have lots of other detail on here. Let's mm -hmm. talk a little bit about the background here. So something I really enjoy doing is embellishing the background fabric with decorative stitches on my sewing machine before I put the applique on. So I'm sort of creating my own fabric. And it's so fun because you can use all different kinds of threads and colors and different stitches on your sewing machine. So that's a good, good thing to do with those wonderful machines we have now. And as we look at this up close, you're going to see all of that detail of some of those beautiful stitches mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that we never use on our sewing machines. Right. And you figured out a way to use them. Right. Okay, yeah. and so then you also have some trims that you've added. Yes, so I... Well, okay, so we started out collecting fabric, then we collected threads, now I collect trims. <laughs> and, it's, and, and since you never know how much you're going to need, you know, you just buy 10 yards. That's right. Um, and it's, it's kind of a challenge to find the smaller trims that I like to use in my miniatures. So I, wherever I can find them, I collect them. Like so that's a little tiny, mini micro little tiny rickrack. Rick yep. And down here is kind of a ribbon trim. Along the outside, we've got some gold couched thread, and that's a little trim on top of that green. And then all around the outside edge is another trim. And then you made these little tabs down yeah, here. Now, did you cute. actually bind each of those edges? Um, um, no. So what they are is, is this part is applique onto the background, okay. and there's more of that gold out there. Then I, I actually, this is like a facing. You faced it. Yes, and okay. then turned them right side out. And that makes them so they lay nice. They're and nice flat. and flat, and there's no batting or anything in there. Mm -hmm. I just wanted them to kind of hang down along the edge. And that's, I saw that idea um, in some of the Indian textiles. Sometimes they have these hangings over doorways that have these pretty little tabs hanging down. So that's where that idea came. Now, another thing I'm starting to do is I'm actually doing some hand stitching, which, oh my gosh, I got away from my hand. machine for a while. <laughs> the four letter word, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But what's, what's, what I like is the look of this kind of a running stitch, and you really can't achieve that with a sewing machine. You actually have to do that by hand. And I do that as an embellishment. That's, those aren't quilting stitches. So those are done before the top is layered with the batting and the backing. So you really need that space in between for that to that, show for up it nicely. To look like to have that look. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's a beautiful quilt, and you certainly were deserving of being the the uh, Better Tech's best miniature oh. quilt. And so now the question that everybody always wants to know mm -hmm. is, will we see this in the quilt museum? Yes, you will, because it's the number two, and. It, it, it would be happy to go live in the museum with its sister, Pink Elephants, too. Okay. <laughs>